It's been two years since the hurricane and we often hear President Trump talking about the billions of dollars that have been thrown at the island. We have 91 billion dollars going to Puerto Rico. But the truth of the matter is that a lot of that money is not being seen by the most vulnerable marginalized communities. And it shows where the priority has really been. The priority's been paying creditors and not been the recovery for Puerto Rico and the recovery for the people of Puerto Rico. What people forget is that before Hurricane Maria, we were already in the midst of a financial and economic crisis on the island. And that's when we got this La Promesa, which established a board of seven unelected officials to basically rule over the island and try to get its $72 billion debt crisis in order. Then Hurricane Maria hits. Hurricane Maria slamming into the island. One official saying the island is destroyed. Officials there predict entire towns will have to be rebuilt. And we have a lot of hedge funds coming in and speculating on the debt, buying it up on pennies on the dollar, and taking advantage of not only the economic crisis, but now what has been compounded by a huge environmental crisis. The Financial Oversight Management Board in Puerto Rico has many conflicts of interest, particularly how this relates to representation. It should be community driven, it should be inclusive of the community organizations in Puerto Rico, and it should be inclusive of the diaspora who's meant to amplify the voices of the people of Puerto Rico. It's been over two years since PROMESA was signed into law. We knew then that it would be a disaster, but now we have the evidence. And it's imposing severe austerity measures in order to pay back these vulture hedge funds so that they can make a quick buck. PROMESA and the austerity measures that are being pushed by the financial control boards are spelling the end of public education for Puerto Ricans, which is alarming because public education is the key to creating a professional workforce and the key to building a strong economy on the island. For Puerto Ricans, historically, because of our Commonwealth status, we are expected to pay the full amount of taxes, the full amount into Medicaid, Medicare, Social Security Administration, but we only receive, as a people, one third of those benefits. We're asking today for full parity. Wall Street should not be believing that they can get blood from a stone. When people are suffering and hurting, you cannot continue to squeeze them. And we ask for PROMESA to be abolished. We're asking today for full benefits. What we're asking for like, is not luxury. We are asking, like we have said, for basic human needs.